Hi, this is Christian Espinoza. In this video, we'll cover HoneyPot. Specifically, we're going to download HoneyBot and install it on a Windows 10 enterprise system. So HoneyBot is a easy to use, very simple to set up HoneyPot. And the whole idea with the HoneyPot, at least from my perspective, it's a very useful tool, uh, not to catch attackers, but to detect what's going on, uh, especially in, inside your network. So if, if I were to help defend a network, I would deploy internally a virtual machine with a honeypot such as HoneyBot configured on it. This way we have one more tool to alert us if there is an infection internally and that malicious software is trying to propagate or spread laterally because there's no reason anyone should initiate a connection to a honeypot. But if all of a sudden we see traffic trying to connect to the honeypot on port 445, for instance, that's an indication that somebody or something has infected one of our internal systems and is trying to propagate laterally, like a wormwood or a botnet wood or something like that. So the one we're gonna use here is Honeybot. Uh, this, this video will walk through the install and a quick setup. Honeybot is created by Atomic Software Solutions. I'll put the link beneath the video and you have to register here to, to download it. You don't really have to put your real information in. You can make it up. So we'll just do dude at dude.com and then whatever license you want to choose is fine. I'll say security researcher, continue. And then it takes you to a download screen. Click on here. It's about 1.1 meg. It's not very large. It's pretty simple. So go ahead and click on run there or download. Then you can run it. We'll walk to the install. Yes. Next, accept. You can take all the defaults here. Next, uh, I, it, I had previously installed it, so you won't get this message if you haven't installed it before. I'm gonna install it over that directory. I'm gonna create a desktop icon, which is a cool star. Next, install. The star should pop up there, and now we're gonna launch it. Would you like to configure HoneyBot now? Yes. So here's how we can configure it. These are the options. Uh, you can start it automatically and load, enable a sound alert, so every time somebody try to connect to a port, it it dings you basically, it creates a sound. Uh, we can capture binaries. So a lot of things we can con configure and go in and go into de detail on, but we're not going to go into a lot of detail with this. We're just going to get get it set up in this video. Uh, you can also check for updates, export, etc. Send an email alert. So when you're scanned in Honeybot to text something, it can email you as well. So go ahead and click on OK here. It will check for up, up, updates automatically. And now it asks you what adapter you want this to run on. In this specific Windows 10 machine, uh, it's running in VirtualBox. There's only one adapter. So I'm, I'll go ahead and say all though. So if you have a machine with multiple, adap multiple adapters and HoneyBot will listen uh, on all those adapters. And we saw there was a noise there. So that was the... <laughs> the alarm. So that was a UDP uh, 67 alert there, which is DHCP. If you expand the ports here, we only have one port and we have one device, which is U that was DHCP request, try to connect to us. Okay, so HoneyBot is listening, but you want to figure out like what ports is it listening on. So we could do a netstat command uh, through the command prompt, or we can stop the service and look at what ports is listening on. So there's, a, there's some icons up here. There's a play button, a stop button. There's a sound button where we can turn the sound on and off. There's also the services button, which shows us what services the HoneyBot software is listening on. If we click on this, it tells us we have to stop the engine before we can edit the services. Uh, so while it's running, we can't look at the services or edit them. So click on the stop icon here. Then we can click on the services button. And this shows you all the ports that HoneyBot is listening on. So if it receives requests on any of these ports, it will alert you. Uh, and you see there's quite a few here. And you can totally customize this. You can delete the service. You can add a service. Right now at the bottom, you see we are listening on 1,357 services. That's probably a little overkill, to be honest. Um, if you only want to look for traffic on port 445, port 80, port 8080 or whatever, you could just narrow it down to a few ports. Um, but by default, it's listening to this many ports. 
And we can also, like I said, verify that if we do a net stat. So we can remove one of these ports here, edit it, add, close, we'll close this, we'll start it again, and then we'll go uh, to the Windows command prompt and we'll just do a net stat just to show you how many ports it's listening on. We already know it's listing on 1,352 um, sockets we saw are created. So we can just validate that with netstat as well. So netstat dash an, whoop, dash an, and we'll get to more. So here's all the ports. So you see the local address is zero. That means all the interfaces, but we're listening in ports one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know, it's pretty obvious that if somebody were port scanning this device, that it's a honeypot. Uh, that's why I say it's good for detection, but not so good as like, you know, tricking attackers. Anyone that is, a, is a, a hacker that's any good would know like that this is a honeypot because it's not realistic for a, a server to be listening uh, on all these ports and most of them are sequential or pretty close to it. So this was just a quick introduction to Honeybot, uh, which is a Windows honeypot. Uh, it's free, easy to use, it listens on a lot of ports, it's very configurable. The next video we'll do is with Kali Linux scanning a system with a honeypot, such as this honeybot here, and we'll see what it looks like from the attacker perspective. As I mentioned, it's, it'll be very obvious, but we'll take a look at that, and then we'll also look at, uh, in the next video, what it looks like from the honeypot perspective when somebody does a port scan against you. So we'll get both perspectives.